I've been meaning to make this video for plus minus three years now. It's just taken me that long to get the car out and talk some crap about it. So without further ado, this is five things everybody hates about the R32 GTR. You may ask, why am I getting into the passenger side? Well, that's because both problems are here. So the first one is the most obvious. And fortunately for me, I don't have such a big issue. There's a dash bubble that happens to almost every R32 GTR. Now essentially what happens is there's glue that sits underneath here and the glue gets hot when you park the car outside. Obviously that whole greenhouse effect of the glass. Glue stops being sticky after, well, 25 years, plus minus. And the dash starts to lift. See, I can press it down, it kind of like sticks, but not really. Luckily my dash bubble's not that big. There's a quick fix for it. I did make a video a couple years ago. Common issues with the R32 GTR. That was one of them and I showed you guys how to fix it. One thing you can do is pop a pin in here, inject some glue and then just press it down. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about issue number two. So if you look at my floor mat over here, you'll see that there's a bit of a hump. Well, that's rather annoying. It's actually easier if you look at it from the driver's side. So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of a recess and then a drop there. Now the issue for that is the transmission is directly underneath there, so they had to make a plan and widen that side. Well, you can't really see, unless this guy sits on top of it. But it's quite a big hump over here, and that sucks. It's particularly awkward for a passenger if they're not putting their feet all the way at the back. That can be awkward sometimes. Right, let's move on to number three and four. They're both in the engine bay, actually. As you can see, I've got the RB26 that came factory fitted with these models. All R32, 3 and 4 GTR models came with the RB26 DETT. I'm still rocking the twin turbo setup. And issue number three, what they call a viscous fan setup. As you can see down there, there's a belt that's driving that motor and it spins the fan. So once you start the car, the fan's on. It's on pretty much all the time. It, however, sounds horrific. So let me play a little scenario here for you guys. You're gonna pull up to a car meet and someone tells you, make some noise, make some pops, make some bangs. They wanna hear the turbos. Well, you think you're clever, start the car and you start revving the hell out of it. You still got your viscous fan and it's just gonna sound like a truck. Now a lot of GTR owners have complained about that issue. I myself don't like it. I like the exhaust sound obviously. But for me, that's issue number three, and I think it affects a lot of people. Now, issue number four is extremely common, and a lot of people hate this. Can you see what I'm getting at? Yep, the dreaded oil filter location. It's all the way in there, underneath the intake manifold, and it is a bloody nightmare just to get your hand in there. I mean, just take a look at this. Right, so oil filter, there goes my hand. Can you see the size now? I could probably get two fingers around it. Now to alleviate the issue, what people generally do and what I need to do, and I will be doing fairly soon, is an oil filter relocation kit. Now I've done a battery delete, so obviously I've got a lot more space. I might put it over here, I might put it over there, I don't know. But that is an awkward position just to change your oil and change your oil filter. That's probably the worst thing on this car and by far the most common to a lot of people that haven't done the oil filter relocation. Now for number five, I could go technical and I could start listing stuff like the high cast system, the ATESA system, a lot of stuff that guys generally pull out. Now if you think I was speaking Portuguese there, no, I don't have a full lot of Portuguese. I was actually referring to the rear wheel steering. The rear wheels induce oversteer over a certain speed. I think it's like 30 kilometers an hour, maybe 40 kilometers an hour. But basically when you're taking a left turn, the rear wheels will effectively turn right to make you oversteer. Now it's not massive, I mean if you had to point a camera at it, you'll barely see it. But it's making tiny little increments that make a huge difference. However, once you start changing tires and you start modifying the cars, it becomes ineffective and just silly. And it's really old tech anyway. I'm not going to talk about that much more, that is another issue. But just to add a little bit of a comedic aspect to this video, one of the gripes that I have, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have this issue too, is because an R32 GTR, because it's a GTR, and because everybody knows Paul Walker and Fast and Furious, and it's now part of the whole Japanese cult scene, JDM, AF, or you know, everything, everybody on the street wants to race. 
Golf 7s, Golf 6s, all the Golfs, they all want to race. Focus STs, Fiesta STs, I mean, believe it or not, they try and race. I mean, it's cool and all that you're trying, but I can't go and race every single person. Jeez, waste of fuel. So that is it guys, that is what I feel everybody hates about the R32 GTR. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, plenty of JDM content. As you can see in the background, there is an RX7 FD3S here, and I have an MR2 SW20, I actually have another one of these, a black one. So if you came for the R32 GTR, perhaps you want to stay for it, and the RX-7 and the MR2, etc. Loads of content, loads of JDM stuff happening on the channel. Appreciate any support. If you don't mind, share the video. Guys, thank you so much. I will see you on the next one. Peace. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're dreaming